Hello Paul, good morning and welcome to um, Everything Bible and uh, we are here on our first, uh, very first episode for, of um, the book of Philippians and last week we asked uh, you guys to vote on our next episode. We just finished the book of James and um, some were uh, voted for the life, hmm, what were the choices, life of David, um, Joseph and the book of Philippians and um, I think it was actually a tie with the, uh, between the life of David and the book of Philippians but I, I as I have said last week I already had my own preference and um, I really want to uh, do the book of Philippians not just because uh, I haven't done any sermon series on this or preaching series um, so I wanted to do this here in our uh, devotion at uh, everything Bible and I'm sure that you've, we've heard a lot of preachings already in the book of Philippians. We've heard a lot of messages about it. Um, it's actually a very rich book and um, uh, we're going to see later on that uh, it's a book that gives us great encouragement. It gives definitely Paul, uh, 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 it, it is uh, from the heart of the Apostle Paul that is greatly encouraged uh, by this church, uh, by, by the people that he's uh, writing to. And uh, that, uh, that's why the theme of the book is just really uh, encouraging, uh, joyful, unlike his other epistles. Uh, uh, Paul is also encouraged with, with, with other brethren, but it seems like this church has uh, less of a uh, problem uh, so it's a great uh, it's going to be a great uh, devotion series I'm certainly learning a lot from this book uh, things that what do you call this that uh, we have not seen before and you know every time you just read the book of uh, the, the word of God the Bible every time you go over a book that you have read uh, many many times before and you read it again just it's just like it's fresh again and, and and there's so many things that you see uh in that and the lord can bless you with so much more uh than the first time if you've read it and uh we really take the lord that we have the bible i don't know if nagpapasalamat tayo na meron tayong biblia but you know uh we're so blessed na meron po tayong biblia thinking about uh thinking about uh like people in the bible they don't have this complete word of god and um uh, now we have it and yung mga bagay na nakakapagtaka sa kanila it's explained to us and we know it today but we just lack that uh, devotion into the word digging deep into the word and applying the word of God and if we just do that I'm sure that we'll be a blessed Christian and uh, we've, I've decided to uh, entitle uh, this um, series as Joyful Living Joyful Living and certainly uh, there's a lot of joy that we can get from this. Uh, Paul encourages the people at Philippi to be joyful, to rejoice. Um, and Paul himself is uh, uh, in attitude of, of being joyful. And kung titignan natin yung story ni, ni Paul here, at uh, uh, the way he started this church here, um, if you and I will we'll be placed in his shoes, I don't think we're going to be joyful. But Paul has that wisdom from God, the right perspective in every circumstance, in every situation, he's got that right perspective. That's why he can find joy, even in the bad circumstances, because he knows why the Lord placed him there. He knows his purpose. He just knows the will of God. And someone who knows the will of God is following the will of God is going to be confident, joyful in everything that happens to us. And we just have confidence that the Lord has a purpose in that. So uh, let's get into that. But, but before that... Um, we will not go to, the, to a verse in Philippians for now. We'll, we'll look at the background, of course. Um, before that, if you would kindly share our video, you can share it on your wall, mess uh, on Messenger, or wherever you, you want to host a watch party. That would be great. Uh, great encouragement will uh, sa akin. And even, uh, I'm sure that it, I hope that it will be encouragement to others as well. So we're going to look at the background of this uh, book first. And then we're going to look quickly at some famous verses in this book because there's a lot of them um that's what that's what we're going to do today so we're not going to really uh dive right into the book of philippians but we're going to act 16. Uh, when i'm going to read those verses I, I encourage you to read it on your own time I'm just going to um just going to tell you the story how paul started and, and maybe we can get um some uh principles from that but i know so um here in Acts 16, we can see that uh, Paul, 
uh, here is uh, the, the story of how he started this church at Philippi. And, and makita po natin when, 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 uh, after Paul has gone through preaching through Galatia, uh, uh, really Asia, kanina, yun din yung preaching uh, ng, ng preachers sa church namin, he's gone through preaching there. He, he purposed to continue preaching in Asia. Uh, but uh, the Lord um, led him somewhere else. The Bible says in um, chapter 16, Acts 16, verse number 7. Sabi dito, after they were come to Mysia, they essayed to go into Bithyn- Bithynia. So gusto ni Paul the, to preach it uh, throughout Asia, but the Spirit suf- suffered them not. So that means that Apostle Paul, throughout his missionary journeys, throughout, throughout his uh, uh, endeavor for the Lord Jesus Christ. He always listens to the Holy Spirit. Before he does something, before he goes to a place, he makes sure that it's the Holy Spirit leading him there. And we and we know the verse uh, uh, that says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. But it's also true that the stops of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Why? Because most of the time, before God tells us to go somewhere or do something, He first asks us to stop what we're doing. Whatever we're doing, so you might be uh, in 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 a in a position right now, sabuhaymo, where you're you're on a course uh, uh, um, that you're, you're you're treading for your life. Maybe you, you have a goal for your career, or, or you're in school, or, or maybe kano mang ginagawa mo. But you know, sometimes when when that's not the will of God, the Lord just asks you to stop. So don't go there. Stop doing what you're doing. Why? Because I have something else for you to do. And well, what's good is that uh, when the Lord tells us to stop what we're doing, that means He's gonna tell us to uh, uh, what to uh, what to do. So sabi niya kung ano ang gagawin natin. Hindi lang niya basa siya nabing tigil, tas tigil na. No, but just like Paul, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit told them that. All right, I don't want to go, you to go there. I want you to go to. Macedonia instead. And one thing that I want us to learn, and if you have studied the, the, the life of Paul, or if you have read uh, the story of Paul, the life of Paul, really, that he's just a man that is led by the Spirit of God. And that's the reason why he was very successful in his journeys. He was very uh, much greatly used by God because he allowed the Lord to use him, to guide him, and to just tell him what to do. So, you, you know the verses that Paul says that, uh, that uh, I am crucified with Christ. I, I, I belong to Christ. It's God who tells me what to do. It, it doesn't matter if it costs me my life. That is Paul's, uh, that is Paul's uh, philosophy. It doesn't matter what happens to me. As long as I know that it's God's will, I'm going to do that. So my question to you is, is God, uh, is, is, are you a spirit-led believer? Because unless we're a spirit-led believer, a spirit-led disciple, then we're, not just, we're just not going to be used greatly by God. And uh, the Bible says in Romans 8, 14, uh, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And one sign that you're truly a believer is that you are being led by the Spirit of God. So by the, by the, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, Paul, instead of going to Asia, went to Macedonia, which is, uh, we can say, Europe. And he started the church at Philippi, which is the first church to be uh, started here in Europe. And uh, we can see that now in the book of Philippians, while Paul is writing to the uh, uh, to the people at Philippi, Paul is greatly encouraged by them. God used those people to encourage him through imprisonment, to send uh, uh, him uh, some uh, material things that he will need, to send him people that will encourage him. You know, so so uh, this church that God uh, uh, commanded Paul to start in the end was a great blessing to him and then and, and in his life, in his journey, in, in, in his uh, uh, very bad circumstances. So, so God said, all right, God, the Holy Spirit told Paul, go to Macedonia instead. And God gave him a, a vision, uh, the, the, the Macedonian call, that there's this sinner that needs, uh, needs Paul's help. And uh, that is the purpose of Paul. Paul goes to, in order to preach the gospel. That's why Paul decided, all right, this is where God is leading me to go. That's where I'm going to go. And, and when Paul arrived there, uh, there's a lot, and, and everything that just happened there at Philippi is just the hand of God. I, I, we cannot go into every detail because we're studying the book of Philippians. I just want us to get a background para po mas maintindihan natin where Paul is coming from in the things that he will say in the book of, uh, uh, in the book of Philippians. So when he arrived, one uh, woman named um, uh, Lydia, 
uh, got saved. She was a businesswoman, but then she got saved. The Lord uh, opened her heart, the Bible says in Acts chapter 16. And then he invited them to gather in her house. So, so the Lord used her, converted her, saved her, and then used her and her house in order for the first gathering to to happen and, and after that not long after that there's this a uh, woman possessed who, who came and and uh, was um, uh, saying all of these things at first she appeared you know the story if you don't know Acts, read read Acts chapter 16 and so on you know the story that that she appears in, uh, at first to be helping Paul uh, she's saying that this 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 guy is from God but then uh, in the end we we learn that this woman is being used by Satan and you know whenever you're being used by God and whenever you are uh, uh, allowing God to use you or, or, or to lead people to Christ or whatever the, um, sometimes when when the sa when Satan attacks you he doesn't uh, just appear uh, as an enemy you know sometimes he appears as, uh, uh, as as your friend he appears as he uses people close to you people who appear to help you people who appear to to be assisting you in in, in the will of God but then later Paul with his discernment and, and the help of the Holy Spirit was able to uh, uh, to cast this demon, uh, this bad spirit away from that uh, woman, and again she was uh, as well saved. But then, after that, people got mad. So Satan start uh, tried to uh, destroy this work at first by pretending to be a friend, and then destroying Paul. But when that didn't work, ang ginawa po ng kaaway is to stir up people. So people got mad at Paul. Para masinabi nila ng Google na lang to si Paul sa, sa, sa lugar natin. So they beat him up. And then they place him into prison. And that's where we get that great story of Paul uh, and, and Silas really just singing in the prison. And, and uh, the Lord miraculously, uh, what do you call this, uh, opened uh, the, uh, uh, the prison doors uh, through, uh, through a great uh, earthquake. And, the, and then... What, and, and then we know the rest, uh, uh, we rest of, the rest of the story of what happened there. And um, really, it's just uh, something that is really uh, uh, great. Something that uh, lahat po na nangyari kay Paul is not really um, that uh, uh, easy. It's not that uh, uh, smooth. But then Paul, whatever happened, he just keeps on, keeps on uh, uh, working, keeps on doing what the Lord wants him to do. So that is that. That is uh, the story of the the start of this church. It's really not a smooth journey. And if we're going to look at uh, the book of Philippians, then dito po yung mga favorite verses of most people. Uh, nandito yung mga one um, one verse treasures that sinasabi natin. Uh, Philippians one six, being confident of this uh, very thing that he began a good work in you will perform it until the day of, of Jesus Christ. That is my dad's uh, life verse. We have Philippians 1.21, For to me to live is Christ, to die is gain. And then we have the uh, um, uh, pr uh, pray uh, without ceasing. I believe that is also there. And also the, the uh, verses about the humility uh, of the, our Lord Jesus Christ. And also that very famous verse, even uh, the world knows this, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And the reason why I'm excited to start this is because we're going to look at those verses, hopefully in a different light, uh, taking, in, taking uh, into a, a, a account the context of these verses and how it can be a greater blessing in our lives because we're going to apply it in the correct way. Especially uh, Philippians 4, 13, very much abused verse. And later on, we're going to uh, look at that. So I'm really excited for this uh, uh, series. So I hope it's going to be, have that same effect on you to have a joyful living and uh, just to really praise the Lord because of the encouragements that we're going to uh, see here at the book of Philippians. So uh, that's it for today. I know we didn't go uh, get into a lot of uh, things. We just ha uh, tried to look at the background, but then tomorrow we'll start with verse number one, verse number two, hopefully, if we can go to uh, other verses as well. So God bless you, Pop. Hopefully you'll stay with me throughout this uh, series um, and I really pray that you pray that you do as well so salamat po uh, God bless you po